We are very pleased to have Dabna Doyle in studio tonight. She's going to be taking part in an upcoming songwriter circle on Thursday. We'll give you more information in a moment. First, time to check in with Dabna. Of course, hi to Jamie as well. Good to see you here in studio. Uh, you'll be hearing from him in just a moment. But Dabna, we thought we'd ask you a couple of questions about your brand new album. How fantastic. Tell us a little bit about uh, this, this album, a little different from the past things you've done. Well, you know, I've been working on it for the last two years, and it's just the way the music industry right now is you better do music because you love it because there's really no other reason to do it. And <laughs> I just wanted to put a bunch of my favorite songs from childhood, high school, and the last 10 years on a record, but totally reinvent them. Like, we took... Um, some songs that were really, you know, you couldn't, no one would ever think of the Cheap Trick song, I Want You to Want Me, as a sad and vulnerable song. So we kind of stripped away all the production and brought it down to this little lonely little place acorn song, and, and that's what we did with most of the record. In listening to this, you know, you would classify it as a cover album, but in a sense, it's so, it, it doesn't, some of the songs don't sound anything like the original covers. The words are the same, and the, the chord, melodies are the melody, same. but in, some of them are completely different in the tone of your voice, completely different from what you might expect. Well, I just wanted, like, I always am looking for a record to put on, like, at dinner parties. You know, what do you listen to? Something that's soothing and not too intrusive, but it's something really listenable and that you know. So all of these songs you know, and I love it, like, about two minutes in, going, oh my God, that's an ABBA song. Yeah. Well, so. the song you're going to do now is uh, Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Yeah. Fantastic. And have a song. Listen to this one. Dabnit Doyle and, of course, Jamie. Take it away. In the late show in my flat all alone How I hate to spend the evening on my own Autumn winds blowing outside the window And I look into the night It makes me so depressed to see the phone There's not a soul out there no one to hear my prayer Oh, give me, give me, give me A man after midnight Won't somebody help me chase the shadows away Give me, give me, give me A man after midnight Take me through the darkness To the break of the day I mean, I know it's hard to sing just a guitar player, but you are not Ah, this is not just a guitar, just a guitar player. player. You're like a whole symphony, and your pitch is yeah. fantastic. Thank you, Jamie. What a great album. And the, the funny thing about this is it's, you know, the different colors that you have coming out in your voice. Well, speaking of that, if people want to have a chance to see you, you're in town because she's going to be performing at Casino Nova Scotia. It's a songwriter circle with um, yeah. Bruce Gethrow. Mm -hmm. 
And Bruce will be surrounded by women this time. Yes, Megan Smith and... Probably uh, one of the first times this has ever happened to him. Well, you know, it's, <laughs> it's exciting for any man. I mean, look at Jamie, he's trembling and there's just the two of us right the now. <laughs> um, so, and Susan McNeil is going to be there tomorrow night. And tonight we have a, a charity event with uh, Lenny Glenn, Charlie Acord, so it's going to be a fun. <sighs> I know that you're spending a lot of time in Toronto, obviously make your home there, but uh, from Newfoundland and uh, really so great to see you coming back to the East Coast. Oh, thank Palmer. you guys for always yeah. welcoming me and it sounds great in here. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's your voice, my darling. So that's Casino Nova Scotia at the Schooner Room tomorrow night for the Songwriter Circle, yeah. Thursday night. Yeah. Um, by the way, we were having a little chat earlier, and we were thinking about you know people from this part of the world who might appear on, let's say, a Canadian version of Dancing with the Stars. Oh. What would you do? Would you ever get involved with that? Oh, you know what? Because I'm such a, <laughs> a moron and I'm a sucker for fear, I would do it, and I would never live it down. I had to dance in a version of Evita, and one of my good <gasps> friends, Phil Dreddy, tried to teach me how to dance and it was like almost the end of our friendship. I got nothing going on.